The question number 36 is, what is the mean free path for oxygen molecule at room temperature 300 Kelvin and at atmospheric pressure of 1 atmosphere? Given the diameter of oxygen molecule is 2.9 tennis power minus 10 meter. Now, dear student, the mean free path lambda we take is equal to 1 upon root 2 pi n n to d square. n is called the number density that number of the molecules per unit volume. And the number of molecule per unit volume is equal to total number of molecules divided by the volume. And how will you find the volume? You know that PV is equal to NRT. So P will be RT. So I'll fill V is equal to RT divided by P. You can find from here N is 6.02. 10 is power 23, that will go to number. Multiply by the pressure, which is given 1 atmospheric and R 8.31 and the temperature is 300. So this will give you the number of molecules per unit volume and this value comes to be 2.4 10 is power 26, the number density. Now I will fill in this one. So lambda is 1 upon root 2 into pi and n is 2.4 10 is power 26 and the diameter is given to you so 2.9 10 is power minus 10 whole square and that will give you the mean free path in meter and that is equal to 1.1 10 is power minus 7 meter and the first option is 1.1 10 is power minus 7 meter so answer is 1 to this question the question number 37 is Two liquids A and B are at 36 degrees Celsius and 24 degrees Celsius. When mixed in equal masses, the temperature of the mixture is found to be 28 degrees centigrade. Their specific heats are in the ratio. Now see, these are two liquids. Liquid A, which is at 36 degrees Celsius, and the liquid B, which was at 24 degrees Celsius. And both have equal masses. They were mixed in the container. And in this container, the temperature of the mixtures come to be 28 degree centigrade. Since there is no heat loss to the surrounding, so therefore the heat loss by one will be equal to the heat gained by the other. Now, what is the heat loss by this one? That is equal to the mass into specific heat into the temperature change. What is the temperature change? That is 36 has gone to 28. And what is the heat gained by the other? So that is equal to the mass taken equal, the specific heat. And what is the temperature rise? That is 28 minus 24. So equate. So M into SA into this become 8 is equal to M into SP into 4. Therefore, SA upon SP is equal to 4 by 8 which is equal to 1 by 2. So the correct option is the third. Question number 38 is consider a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen at room temperature as compared to hydrogen molecule an oxygen molecule hits the wall with greater average speed with smaller average speed with greater average kinetic energy and with smaller average kinetic energy. And you know that both the gases at, at the same temperature, they have the same average kinetic energy. So option three and four, both are wrong. Let's look at the one and two. You see the average speed, the average speed is equal to eight RT divided by pi into M. This is the formula, M is the molar mass. Now, you see the heavier gas out of this one is the oxygen and when oxygen and more mass it has low average speed. So therefore, the oxygen molecule will hit the wall with smaller average speed. So correct option is option number 2. The question number 39, the ratio of the slopes of PV diagram in adiabatic and isothermal process is, now dear students, for adiabatic process, we take PV power gamma equal to constant. 
then we differentiate and you get that the dp by dv is equal to minus gamma into p and for isothermal process pv is equal to constant we differentiate that first function derivative of second and this then you get the dp by dv in this case and that is equal to minus p now to get the slopes we divide this one so the slope of adiabatic to the slope of isothermal and that is equal to the gamma and you know gamma is equal to cp by cp and therefore the correct option is 2. The question number 40 is an ideal heat engine rejecting heat at 77 degree celsius is to have a 30 percent efficiency it must take heat at the temperature now see the temperature of the sink is equal to 77 celsius that is 273 plus 77 this is equal to 350 kelvin now what is the temperature of the source that is a questionable it's given that efficiency is 30 percent and the option for efficiency the efficiency is equal to 1 minus t2 divided by t1 so efficiency is 30 percent so that means 30 by 100 is equal to 1 minus t2 which is 350 divided by t1 so that means 70 by 100 is equal to 350 divided by t1 and t1 comes to be 500 kelvin and the options are the first one so answer to this question is one Thank you.